Hi everyone, this video serves the purpose of demonstrating our interactive whiteboard range to you. We currently have two sizes available in these specific models. Um, I'll be using our 82 inch. The largest size we have is the 100 inch. Basically the hardware needed in order to have a system up and running in your classroom or board room is first of all you need your board. It can either be the 82 or 100 inch depending on your classroom or board room size. Um, second component needed is your projector. Now any projector will be compatible because all that the projector is doing is it's projecting or duplicating your computer's image onto your interactive whiteboard. Obviously your last component needed is your laptop. It can either be a laptop or a desktop computer. Um, yeah. Once the system is connected, basically all that you are doing is you are taking control of your computer. So you can either use your stylus, which is provided with the board, or you can use your finger. All right, again, whatever programs or software you have on your computer will be compatible because again, you're just controlling your computer. Another nice feature of the board is it's multi-touch. So with it being multi-touch, either two users can interact on it simultaneously, or my personal favorite is the fact that you can utilize your computer's gesture functions to its full potential. All right, um, at any given time, if information needs to be changed within a document, it's very simple. No need to run back to your computer. One can simply call up your on-screen keyboard and jot in your new information there and there. We also provide a software with the specific model board. And basically, this is now where, where it replaces the whiteboard and the flip chart in your environment. So onto my first function to select from is various pens. I've then got the option of selecting from various colors available. I can also adjust my line thickness if need be. Once that is selected, again, either using, using my stylus or finger, I can now go and write on the board like you would on a normal whiteboard. Adding in multiple pages adds to that convenience of keeping data as you are moving along. And at any given time, toggling or referring back to a page if need be just to highlight key points or touch on touch on a few features on that page a nice feature of the board is if if i go to full whiteboard mode i can either still utilize the tools of my floating toolbar or if that becomes a problem for me i've always got my hotkeys on either side of the board to use to either navigate or flip through my various pages that i've had have open Add in a new page at any given time, or just grab one of my basic pen colors just to make additional notes if need be. Another nice feature of the software is the fact that we don't just limit you to do everything within our software. At any given time, the software can be minimized, and our floating toolbars tools could be utilized over any other program. So just using my slipping tool over there to capture an image off of my desktop, where I can now go and grab my pen and make additional notes over that. Another nice feature that we provide within the software is the ability to record your sessions or lessons. So before your training session or lesson starts, you will opt to record it. Your computer is now basically just asking you where you want to record that file or save that file. So I'm going to save it on the desktop as today's date. And then once you click save, Absolutely everything or anything you now do on your computer is being recorded. And what's nice is it's not limited just to our program. So whatever program you have open or working in will be recorded. So if I jump back into my software, where I'll add a new page quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a three-dimensional cube. And this is purely just so that you guys can see the speed at which it records at. Right, once your, once your session is done, you will simply just go back into your software, which I'm already there. You will then stop your recording. I'm just going to close this up. So I want to show you that it saves it as a normal AVR video file. I can now load that up onto the server, the school or businesses local server, where guys can review videos or training sessions at a later stage, or burn it onto a CD or put it onto a flash stick.
So as you guys can and see, that is recorded. It's not limited to just our program. So whatever program you have open with will be recorded. If I jump back into my software, you can see that I've got all the programs that I've recorded. And this is purely just so that you guys can see this if you get which is recorded that. Once your, once your session is done, you will simply just go back to your software and find what already there. And that's it in a nutshell. Please contact us for pricing or further information. Thanks.